Hello Internet and thank you for watching this Tiki Express tutorial. I'm Bernard Sfez, a Tiki specialist, and in this video I'll show you how to enable the banners features in Tiki, how to set up a simple banner on page, I'll show you where are the banner stats for admin and for users, we'll do a quick review of the banners parameters, and I'll show you how to place a banner using Tiki modules. For this Tiki Express tutorial, I'll be using a Tiki 19 and not, as I usually do, a Tiki 18 LTS. Uh, some Tiki Express fans asked what is an LTS version. LTS stands for Long Term Services and it gives you the assurance of using a well-tested version that will be taken, can, can, taken care of for a duration of 5 years. For example, TK18 that was released in January 2018 will be supported till January 2023. This is important for an environment that prioritizes stability versus cutting edge but less stable versions. If you want to know more and understand better the TK release version cycle, I invite you to check tiki.org slash versions. So, while Tiki 19 was released 3 months ago and is not an LTS, there were no real change on the banners features since several versions in Tiki. And everything explained here should be valid from Tiki 12 to the most recent version of your Tiki. Let's start with our Tiki Express tutorial on the banners features in Tiki. There are several ways to place a banner in a Tiki depending on what you need and the level of control that is required. In some cases, a plain HTML or JavaScript code from an advertising company inside a single or several pages will be good enough. Sometimes you'd like to control better single element displayed depending certain condition in a Tiki module over several pages. And in some case, you really want to control or monitor the number of clicks, the live duration, the date, and other parameters you won't allow for a banner to be displayed. The Tiki banner features is highly configurable and aimed for most extreme cases. Note that the Tiki banner features can be deviated from its original purpose and can be used for many things that are not banners like specific time and message to your company, user event announcement or control clicks on a single element. I'm sure you will have terrific ideas, please let us know in the comments and share the ideas. But for now, let's roll. First thing first, we need to enable the banners feature in the control panels. The banners features is an advanced feature, so I switch the preferences filter from basic to advanced and I save as my default preferences. If you don't understand that part, just check my tutorial about administration tips in Tiki. A good value to start or for better configure your Tiki. In the features panel, I scroll down to the administrative features and I activate the banners feature. Not a big deal, but if you don't feel comfortable with activating a Tiki feature, I also did a tutorial for that. Go on my channel or my website at bsfez.com and grab what you need there. Let's also activate the banner plugin so it will be one of a possible option to place the banner on the page. Uh, I go in the editing and plugins panel do a search for the word banner using my browser search tool because there are so many plugins here, enable the banner plugin and apply to save the change. Now that the configuration is in place, I would like to use a real working website inside of the default install out of the box. I've quickly prepared one for this video using Bootstrap 4 and create already a new menu, a couple of pages. Let me update the header, move down the admin menu and put in place my user menu. Then I'll switch the theme and also adapt and change the layout. I'm doing that without really explaining as this is pretty basic. But if you want me to do a tutorial covering those, just add a comment in the video on my YouTube channel and I'll do a basic how to logo menu layout, whatever Tiki Express tutorial.
Now that we have our nice looking website on and we have our feature banner activated, let's go to the setting menu. We can see now a new item menu, banners, that lead to an empty list of banners. Let's populate it by creating our first sticky banner. I click on the create banner button and wow, look at that! So many things, parameters and control to give you extra flexibility, unlike in many other web apps. With Tiki, you can really control everything for your banner. I'll explain in a minute, but right now, let's place our first banner. As this website is about house renting, let's pretend that I have a friend that starts a painting business, and I want to help him with it. He sent me a JPEG banner, and I don't want to monitor nor control anything. Just something that will be displayed and available as long as I don't remove it. In the URL field, I put a link for the banner. Let's use my own website for the show. Uh, I don't change anything about limitations. However, I have to create a banner zone. A zone is a marker to tell Tiki what banner goes where. We need at least one and you usually use this to group your banners by size, orientation or language. You are not limited, and you can use those areas the way you want. I create my zone A and I assign it for this banner. Again, I don't change anything about duration, time or days. I click on the radio button, use image method. I browse for my image and click save the banner. Back to the list, here it is. Now I need to set the function that will display the banners within my zone A on the page. You remember that a minute ago we activate the banner plugin. So you know that it exists and it will be available from your toolbar when editing a page. But you can also use the Smarty function directly. You'll have less control over the banner but it will do the job perfectly for this case. I'll copy the plugin code. Now I go back to my home page where I have a space to display the banner. I edit the page, pass the Smarty function for the banner and set the zone to A as my banner was assigned to that zone. I save and voila, I have my friend banner displayed on my home page. Let's click on it, let's go back and refresh. Back to the banners page on the list, I can see already important information and on the action menu, on the right under the branch, I have a stat item where I can find more details regarding the usage of the options I set for the banner. If I set my banner to a specific user, it will also have access to that information. Now that we know how to set a basic banner on our Tiki, let's go back to the Create a banner page so we can review the important parameters we saw previously. The URL to link the banner, we know what it does. The client, a user assigned for this banner. Beside letting you manage your customer using a tracker or requesting money using PayPal to Tiki, it will grant the user an access to the stats for all his assigned banners. That's pretty important if you want to monetize or do some kind of business or trade using the banners features of Tiki. The maximum impressions for it after what? The banner won't be displayed, no need to explain. The maximum number of impressions for a single user after what the banner won't be displayed for this user. Using this setting, you can limit the number of time one of your user will see this banner. The maximum clicks on a banner before it stops to be displayed. Again, no need to explain. Here the zone where you can assign your banner to. We know already what it does. A lot of time control to display a banner only between these dates, only during these hours or day. Pretty straightforward. And finally, the banner methods. HTML give them more freedom and you can use it almost en for anything. Image, as we just tested, this is the easy one. Flash, that's a legacy method, I guess it will be removed at some point. And text, that is very useful for very quick internal message to your community user or intranet companies users. Not much to explain. 
really much more than the usual banners, third-party plugin you can find on other CMS or wiki applications. Setting a banner using the modules. I won't go here for a complete explanation about modules. This is very dense, but very quickly. Tiki is divided in area per layout, top, top bar, top page, left, right, bottom page, bottom. And using a module, you can decide on what section, perspective, structure, page, or group of pages, and for which language it will be displayed or not be displayed. Modules are very powerful. Very, very quickly. I grabbed some code from an advertising company I'm registered to. I go to my Tiki setting menu, click on modules. There, I go to custom modules and I create a new module. I give it a name. I pass the code I copied previously. Now I need to add this module in my Tiki. I select my banner module I just created and I will set some basic module option. Position and parameter like no box equal yes, section equal wiki page, and language equal en for English. I exit the modules. Back to my home page, I have my banner in place and it is on all my English wiki pages. So that's another way to display a banner with more controls over where it will be displayed uh, automatically and only if it matches certain conditions. That's it for today and I hope you've enjoyed this Tiki Express tutorial. Good feedbacks and comments are continuing to come in and that's just great and very helpful. Having solved most of the technical uh, stuff for my video tutorials, I will publish more often and get into the expected tutorials about installing Tiki, setting a Wikisuite server, using trackers, using the custom search, using the maps features, and uh, I will also do a specific advanced usage video for those. Um, you know how to support me, so please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, click on the thumb up button that is just under that video. If you want to miss my next tutorial and want to receive a notification when I publish one, just click on the subscribe buttons on the screen. Thank you again for watching and may the power of Tiki be with you.